always being propositioned through high school. I left this part out by this older student who would proposition those younger kids. I'll say younger kids. He wasn't a student. He graduated. Friend of the family. But he offers money to perform oral sex on us. And I don't know how I forget this story. I always forget this story. So yeah, obviously I'm the stud. And there's a bunch of us, you know, kids, and we're all, you know, black kids in a small community, close knit community. We all know, and there's always the gossip, right? This guy's doing this stuff, or he got caught peeking in somebody's window, or oh, he's always doing very questionable things. Looking back on it, obviously, and we and we didn't joke about it, you know. And I never told anybody other than my wife, you know. So yeah, I was in high school, needed money. Mom won't give me money, so I took the money and. Let him do what he wanted to do, just so I get the hundred bucks. Like hundred bucks to a sixteen-year-old kid was <laughs> a lot of money, you know. Uh, but it wasn't until I got older I was like, damn, this dude was sick. Like he was, you know, and still to this day, from the small town gossip that I get, still does some of these same, you know, things. I don't know how much truth it is. It's a small town, so. But he would proposition a lot of us, and there were stories about certain, you know. Nobody ever knows, doesn't know my story between him and I and my wife and now you, but <laughs> that he was doing this. He was propositioning a lot of us kids. A lot of us said we didn't take him up on it. Obviously, I was one of those. I said, no, I never let him do that to me. And the other kids, oh, yeah, I didn't let him do it to me either. But thinking back on it now, I'm thinking, if I let him do it, there's probably a whole bunch of other kids that probably were taking 100 bucks and, you know, 